So I've tried all of the website builders available. And in this video, I'm going to share some of the best website builders that you can use to build a site, whether this is for your business or a personal website or a project or a photography website. I'm going to break down each one of these different website builders that I've used for dozens of hours each. I have a lot of experience on these. And what we're going to do is we're looking at six here, six different website builders, and we'll talk about three sort of different factors that we're grading them based off of. So we're going to talk about the ease of use for each one of these website builders uh, because a lot of people are not web developers and the truth is you don't have to be some of them are very easy to use so that's factor number one factor number two we'll look at the uh, design capabilities and the speed of a website which is very important as well and then the third factor that i think a lot of people care about is the price factor for each one of these website builders. So we'll look at pricing for each of them. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of the best place to build your website. And I'm gonna give you just a quick answer here that it's going to depend on the type of site that you want to build is going to determine which website bu builder is best for you. Now, I also need to note that if you want to follow along and test out some of these builders for yourself, I have links and discounts to some of them down below in the description. So if you wanna get some of those discounts or or better pricing, uh, you can just click down in the description so that you can check them out. All right, so let's start off with the first one, which is the most prominent from website builders. You've probably seen the commercials, and that is Wix. Now, uh, Wix is by far the largest website builder platform available, and there's a reason for this. It's relatively easy to use. Uh, they have a lot of features, and they have a lot of things now where you can just talk to AI, and it will help you to build your site. So I'm on Wix here, and I can just start a chat and tell them what I'm looking to do. So I'm just typing in, I want a website, for my photography company and then Wix will help us to build out this site and customize it with ease. So when you're building a website with Wix, you can either choose a uh, template that already exists or you can have AI uh, generate a design for you. All right, so while this site is getting built, uh, let's go ahead and look at the pricing options for Wix. Now, uh, the best sort of selling point for Wix is that they do have free options. Now, you're not going to get all the features when you use Wix for free. You're not going to have a really clean domain name. It's going to have Wix in there and you're going to have some Wix watermarks and ads in there, but it allows you to play around with it and toggle with it. And I recommend everyone go ahead and do that. If you wanted to see if it's right for you, you can test it out for free. That's something that not all of the other website builders offer. And that is the best selling point. Now, if we're looking at pricing for Wix, uh, you can get it for $17 per month for the light plan, $29 a month for core, business is 39 and business elite, which I don't think many people are going to need right off the bat. It's about $160 per month. Um, and if we can compare the plans, you'll actually see that the light plan offers a lot of great features. And I think a lot of people can get away with that at around $17 per month, uh, which is very reasonable for a website builder. So Wix AI just created this design for us for our site and we can use it uh, and we can add our own photos. We can tweak it and we can have AI go back in and change things if we don't like the colors or anything along those lines. And remember, you can always just use custom templates as well if that's something that you're looking to do with Wix. Now, let's talk about the next website builder that's available to us, and that is Hostinger. So I will let you know that Hostinger is the company that we use to build our websites, and it's one that I think is very versatile, and it's also very cost effective. Um, so you can go to hostinger.com slash Santrell, and we get a special discount code for you guys. You can use Santrell 10. I'll leave that specifically down below in the description, and you'll save 10% on on your hosting your plans. But the reason why we really like this is because they have servers all over the world. And it's also uh, very, very inexpensive, especially for the speed and quality that you're getting. So for about $2.99 per month, uh, you can get the premium website builder. Uh, Hostinger uses AI to help build your site similar to Wix. And uh, you'll also get a free domain for a year when you sign up for Hostinger using our link. Um, so there's a lot of great features. I personally know the Hostinger team. I've talked to them for quite a while over the years and I've seen them execute and really grow and expand their features that are available with Hostinger. Um, and that's why I think it is probably the best in terms of price over the long term when you're getting it for $2.99 per month. Now we actually have full hour long tutorials showing you how to build hosting our websites, but with their AI, there's really only just a couple steps here. You simply just talk to it, 
tell it what you want and the colors that you want and um, they will take care of the rest and they will essentially make your site for you um, and you can just be the one kind of pointing the finger and saying change this change that and hosting our AI will do that for you using their website builder now it's also really interesting to know that hosting your actually connects with WordPress they use WordPress on the back end and not to get too into the weeds and tell you things that you don't really care or need to know about but this is why Hostinger is available at such a low cost is because they're utilizing WordPress, which is a, a platform that a lot of websites are built off of. So in terms of site speed, Hostinger definitely wins out of the six different ones that we're looking at today. And that's because they have servers all over the world. And so website speed, load speed is going to be much faster and better than some of the other ones that we've seen. And I personally tested these myself um, over time, and we've seen that Hostinger tends to be a bit better on that. Uh, you can also use Hosting Your Horizons, which is one of their new products that they launched, which allows you to create essentially web apps. So if you wanted to build out like a calculator or some uh, charts or interactive things on your websites, um, they have that available as well inside of their platform when you're building things. So let's talk about the third option for building websites. And this is one you've probably been waiting for for me to talk about, and that is Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is one that has been around for a really long time. I think they were started uh, over a decade ago, and you've certainly seen those ads between YouTube videos and on billboards and Super Bowl commercials about Squarespace. Let me take you over to it and show you around a little bit, and we'll look at pricing and other things as well. Squarespace, I've built sites on here before, and I do like it. I just don't know if it's worth it in terms of the price versus quality of the product. Now, I will say that if you go through here and I encourage you to uh, go to Squarespace's website and look at some of their templates. And maybe if something stands out to you, then that's great. And you can use them and you can create a really quality website. I will say it's very easy to use. I'll give them a great score for that. Uh, I think the part where Squarespace might not win is probably uh, on the pricing side. Now, they do offer a basic plan at $16 a month. That's if you pay annually. If you pay monthly, it's going to be $25 per month, which can certainly add up. So they do have some really great features. You do get that free custom domain for the first year when you are using Squarespace. So that does save you some money compared to some other website builders. But I would say overall Squarespace, it's one that I think used to be really great and awesome when everyone was using like really old school methods for making websites. But in 2025, it's just not one that really stands out to me as much as some of the others. Overall, I would still recommend it. If you have a site on Squarespace, I'm sure it's fine. And I've built them on that platform before. All right, number four on this list is going to be Webflow. So Webflow is one of the best ways to build a website, especially if you're willing to get a little bit more technical than some of the other ones on this list. Personally, when I look at websites, and sometimes I see people's sites that look really clean and amazing and I ask them where did you build that site and in a lot of cases I'll hear people say Webflow especially sort of larger businesses or people who are willing to spend a little bit more uh, time and money on their website. So as you can see here, a lot of really large companies use Webflow to build their websites. Companies like DocuSign and Reddit and Spotify have used Webflow in their companies. So it's a really great option for people who are really looking for a serious website, not just sort of a starter website. But we have a lot of features that are available in those other uh, platforms like Wix and Squarespace. I would just say it goes a little bit more depth in depth in terms of analytics and SEO. SEO um, and being able to scale your site to really high levels. And so uh, if we look over at the pricing, Webflow also does have a free option, which I think is really great because you can play around with it. You can just build out a site, spend a couple hours, and if you don't like it, no worries. It didn't cost you anything. Um, and so it's a pretty good option for that. They also have some relatively affordable plans at $14 a month. You're getting the basic plan, you're getting a custom domain, and you're getting 10 gigabytes gigabytes of bandwidth, which is really not too bad. Um, and you can have up to 150 pages on your website with the basic plan and you can scale up and they have this enterprise option available for people who have really large websites and they're getting a lot of traffic. Um, so this is one that is built for people who are relatively serious about their website. Overall, I can't really complain about anything with Webflow. I've used it in the past. The biggest downside to Webflow is that 
it is a little bit more of a learning curve. It's going to take you a little bit more time, but if you're willing to invest that time and energy, then it's probably worth it for you to build a site with Webflow. Number five is Shopify. Now I'll say this right off the bat. If you are selling any type of product, especially physical products that maybe you're mailing out, Shopify is hands down the best platform for any type of e-commerce or selling any type of business related to that. Shopify is definitely the best. We have used Shopify many times. We have tutorials showing you how to use it as well. Um, it's relatively intuitive. And I think the greatest feature about Shopify is that they really are selling and product fo focused. So um, compared to some of these other website builders like Wix or Squarespace or even Hostinger, they have the ability to, if you wanna sell things on your website, you have the ability to do that, but it's not really optimized for it as much as Shopify is for specifically e-commerce. So if you watch our full tutorials showing you how to build a Shopify website and a Shopify store, um, you'll see that there are uh, hundreds and thousands of Shopify apps that are available to you uh, that you can integrate into your online store to streamline your processes, to expand your business. Now, uh, let's look at pricing because this is the part that Shopify might be a little bit more difficult with. Um, and that's because the cheapest you're going to be able to get Shopify for is $29 per month for the basic plan. Now we do have a deal for you where you can get Shopify for $1 a month for the first three months of sign up. Um, I'll leave that link down below as well. But after that, it's going to be $29 per month. So it is a little bit more expensive. But if you're selling any type of product, I definitely would recommend it. And it is very intuitive. They have templates, they have AI features that can help you to build out your online store. So that is the one that definitely hands down wins for e-commerce. And the last website builder that I'm sharing with you in this video is one that's a little bit different. It's new to our list. We do these videos every year and the new one is Lovable. So what you can do with Lovable is it allows you to build out web apps that you can use as websites. So I don't want to lose you here, but essentially, uh, let's say that you have an idea of something that you want to put onto your website. Maybe you want a calculator for real estate investors when they come to your website and they can calculate uh, their potential return on investment on any specific deal or maybe you want like a mortgage calculator. So let me show you here, it's lovable.dev. Let me just sign in. And so what I did is I asked Lovable to create a real estate profit calculator for investors um, and I want to show up on the homepage. And what this is doing is it's actually coding for us. And so it's writing code. I don't know if you've seen all these things with cursor and vibe coding, but that's essentially what this is here. Um, and so they're going to make this a functioning uh, web app that I can get my custom domain for and it can live on the internet. But what I really like about Lovable is that it has more flexibility in terms of complex features that you could put onto a website, something that some of the other ones don't have. So specifically, if you're looking for those types of complex features, whether this is any type of like calculators or really like intricate things that you want to build, then Lovable might be something worth exploring. And while Lovable is coding our web app for us, let's go over and look at the pricing. So you'll see that $25 per month gets you the pro plan. And with this, you'll get a lot of features, you'll get monthly credits. They do it on a little bit of a different system than the other website builders. And you're gonna have to pay for some other things like domains as well. So Lovable is definitely on the higher end in terms of pricing, but it offers a lot more interesting features, especially in the age of AI. Um, and so we can see right here, this is what they've created for us by just asking me, like I just said one sentence and it has created this profit calculator and we can make this site go live by just clicking publish up here. But this actually works. Like I can type in numbers and these will actually work. And if something doesn't work, I can just tell it, Hey, can you recode this and fix it for me? And it will, this is truly magic. Um, it's something I haven't really seen before. For. I guess we're in the age of AI where we have all these new things coming out. So uh, really interesting there. So uh, those are the six different website builders. If we're going to rank them or talk about which one is the best for you, it's going to depend on the type of site that you are building. Okay, so overall, uh, let's go ahead and break down each one of these website builders to figure out which one is best for you. Let's start off at the top here. Uh, and these are not in any particular order. Wix. Now Wix, I would say is the best for people who are looking for a free option to play around and test it out before they actually build out their site. It has a lot of great features and it's very useful for the average person looking to build a website that is simple yet 
clean. If you're looking for the best overall pricing, that's definitely going to be Hostinger, where you can get it for about $2.99 per month, which is by far the best in terms of price, and you're also getting really high quality. So if you're looking at price, Hostinger is definitely the way to go. Um, Squarespace, overall, it's a generally good option. It doesn't really stand out in any particular field, but it's one that I still think is worthwhile to check out and see if there's any templates that you could use to build your website. Webflow is great for people who are serious and want to build a fast website and are willing to spend more time to learn the ropes of the platform. Shopify is the best platform for e-commerce, hands down. If you're selling a product, especially a physical product, you should be using Shopify for your website. And Lovable is the best one for customization features, especially if you feel like you need any type of coding or adding things like calculators or complicated things on your website, Lovable is gonna be the best way to do that. So those are the six website builders for this year. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave them down below in the comment section. Um, and I'll see everybody sometime in a future video.